Hey y'all, welcome back to my YouTube channel. If you hear some noise, I apologize. The window's open, it's really hot in here. But um, it's time that I do another Q&A. It's been a minute since I've done it and I've gotten hundreds of new subscribers since. I think I did my last Q&A in like August or September. So it's long overdue. I wanted to answer some questions. I started to see some frequently asked questions in the comments and instead of addressing it one by one i figured i'll go ahead and do a q a and then i also asked y'all on youtube and snapchat to ask me some questions so let's get into it so first and foremost i'm going to answer the two the two frequently asked questions because i got them at least 20 different times so the first question is are we going to try for another baby First and foremost, I just, to answer that first of all, we weren't trying for the baby we just lost and we were not trying for Mason. We just did things, if you catch my drift. So, to, to I can't answer that. Like, it's literally up to God how that happens. You know what I'm saying? So, I can't sit here and say, oh, we're going to try again because... If we're not trying, that means we're not doing anything at all, if that makes any sense. I'm trying not to be vulgar here. But um, the fact of the matter is, I we really wouldn't mind waiting a little bit. We were actually just kind of going over this yesterday too. We, we don't mind waiting a little bit longer to add on to the family. Whatever God wants for us is what's going to happen. At the end of the day, he has the final say. So to answer your question, no in a way no but yes i hope that made sense with everything i just said the next question that i got a lot is when i'm going back to work <sighs> with this question so first of all i want to break it down the purpose of people going to work is to be able to bring an income into the home at the end of the day i don't know too many people that go to work for fun or I mean because technically it would be considered volunteering volunteering and not really technically work but that is the whole purpose of working I am able to bring an income into the home without me having to leave the home so I don't really I don't I don't know I told myself this year I wasn't really going to worry about what everybody else thought because last year or once we moved here and I really kind of hopped into the stay-at-home mom role I didn't enjoy it because I just got comments out left and right and the funny thing is it wasn't so much from YouTube or social media it was more so of people that we know oh when are you going back to work all oh, this or that and my thing is I'm bringing in an income without me even having to be out without me having to spend money on daycare or with me without me and my husband having to wake up extra early because we do only have one car so there's a lot of things that went into this decision and it wasn't just oh I want to stay home and just talk to a camera all day a lot of things went into consideration and to answer that question I am not going back to work somebody did ask me if I will go back to work once Mason goes back to school or goes to school again that a lot of things factor into into that if there's another child that's younger and it's home probably not um if and it would just depend on what's going on as far as like my social media my business my youtube channel if those things are sustaining us very well then I'm, I'm probably going to say no, but you never know what could happen. A wonderful, extravagant job opportunity could come knocking at my door tomorrow, and I'm no fool now. I would obviously take that and not just neglect everything else that I have going on. So anyways, let's roll into these questions. I'm going to do the ones that I got off of Snapchat first. So the question is, what is Mason's middle name? Mason's middle name is Victoria Chanel. She has two middle names and it's not hyphenated. What shows are you currently obsessed over? So I have literally a Monday through Friday schedule. I love TV shows. So on Monday, I'm watching The Good Doctor. I'm not sure if that's still currently on, but that's it. Tuesday, I'm watching um, Blackish and This Is Us. And um, two shows that just went off was The Mayor that came on ABC. And then Kevin Probably Saves the World that's, that comes on ABC as well. So that, those two shows were really good. Wednesday, Grownish, 911, and American Housewife. I believe that's all. Oh, and Law and Order, SVU. All of those shows are really, really good. Thursday, TGIT, obviously, and then The Good Place 
and um, Friday, Hell's Kitchen, and Jane the Virgin. So people usually ask me how I keep up with all these shows. I just try to make time for them. I love them. Um, great conversation pieces. Also, on Sundays, I almost forgot, um, Real Housewives of Atlanta. I'm really behind on that show. And Shameless. I will have to say it. I will have to say I was really disappointed with Shameless this season. The finale came out yesterday, and I was just like, nope. Mm -mm. It, wa it wasn't good for me. I know you are currently house hunting. What would be your dream home? So my dream home would have three levels. I would have a huge backyard. I would have a nice front yard, um, a nice driveway, uh, two car garage. I The amount of bedrooms that we have really just depends on how many children we have. So if we only just have Mason, then four bedrooms would be good. Um, if we have obviously more than Mason, you can just go on and tack more bedrooms onto that. My thing is, I would love to have a guest room, even though we don't have that many guests that show up as of right now. But I know eventually my in laws, my family would come over, and I instead of us having to give up our room for them, you know what I'm trying to say? Not that it's a problem, instead of us having to give up a room or put this person in that place, it'd be nice to have a designated room for our guests. Um, I would like an office space. Um, we would love a basement, which will also be dubbed as the man cave, a designated play area for the children, a pool in the backyard, and yeah, that's pretty much it. I'm not super picky. My whole thing is I just want space and I want storage in my house. Those are my main, really main concerns. Um, how is your diet going? So it's been a week. Today marks a week how the diet is going. It's going really well. I thought it was going to be hard to like give up my main things that I love, which are rice. Um, I haven't had any rice, so it's been pretty good. What are your YouTube goals for this year? So honestly, I didn't really set any like set goals where it's just like I need to have 50,000 subscribers by the end of the year. But I really want to keep working on my channel. Um... I know a lot of people say, oh, it's not about the numbers. Honestly, at the point, I'm not going to lie, at the point where I am today and how long I've been doing YouTube, I think my growth on YouTube has been kind of trash. And that's only on me because I haven't really been busting my butt on my channel. I constantly take breaks. I don't promote myself or do what I need to do or I know what I can do. So I'm a little bit disappointed in myself. I told myself that... I am going to make sure that I'm gaining a substantial amount of subscribers. I feel like I've been at this 10, 10,000 to 12K range for months. It's probably almost been a year and it's disappointing. So I'm going to keep working on this and just know that I know my channel could be much better. I know that if I took my channel seriously from the day that I started it and have been consistent since the day I started it, my channel could be somewhere completely far off from where it is today. So I do know that I want to gain a serious amount of subscribers. I do want to work on my views. I do want to work on my quality. There's a lot of things that I want to change um, better. It's, it's better for me to show y'all than it is for me to necessarily just sit here and list out some things and then come out December 31st. It's the same mediocre things. So y'all see it when I see it. <laughs> what is Mason? Mason is 15 months. She turns a new month every 27th of the month. What did you go to school for? When do you and Kendall plan to start trying for the next little one? Um, what did I go to school for? Health promotion and psychology. I did start off as pre-med, but... Mm -mm. no ma'am and I've already answered the second question what is what's your ethnicity where are you from where you want to your dream home to be my ethnicity is I'm Liberian um all of my family was born in Liberia pretty much I am first generation American born um where do I want my dream home to be I don't know that is a question I cannot answer I have no idea I always say I do want to end up raising my family in Texas but honestly at this point it could be here it could be North Carolina it could be um Florida I have I literally have no idea when I know y'all will know I know y'all already married but do you plan on having an actual ceremony so as you all know because this is a question that's been asked a lot too as you all know last year we were planning on getting married um or having a wedding ceremony 
in two months in March actually it's crazy how time flies back flies by but um per, I'm not even gonna BS it I just felt like when it came to our wedding I didn't really feel like too many people cared about it um and I, I'm saying this about family too and I my bridesmaids <laughs> if you go back and watch that video you already know it. I love them all dearly they all know that um that's past me but that day where my bridesmaids a lot of my bridesmaids didn't show up it kind of just it made a lot of things just go off in my head and I'm just like no I don't want to do this anymore so we did decide that we will eventually have a wedding um but it's going to be so laid back it's not even going to be like a serious wedding it's going to be no wedding party just me and Kendall and we decided that we'll probably go somewhere like Florida don't know anything yet I'm just like laying out what we have thought about um probably go to Florida get married on the beach if you ever plan on having a meet and greet if you could go back and change anything would you if you could go on a vacation where would you go having a meet and greet I honestly to be honest with that I really don't feel like I have a a lot of loyal subscribers like in my area per se that will show up and there has been some times where in the past where I have like put on my geo tag in like on snapchat and say oh I'm here and a lot of my subscribers say oh meet me here and I'll go there and nobody shows up so to be honest with y'all I'm over meet and greets maybe once I get way bigger maybe I might do that but as of right now I have no plans on doing a meet and greet does that make me a bad youtuber i think so <laughs> would i ever go back and change anything honestly no because i feel like all the things that i've done in my life has molded me to be the person i am today um if it didn't i feel like every single thing that has happened happened for a reason so i really wouldn't go back and change anything i could go on a vacation where would it be honestly there's so many places that i want to go to but i really want to go to hawaii or like the Virgin Islands, Jamaica, and stuff like that. I want to go somewhere tropical. I've never been. Kids, do you want to complete your family? Do you think you'll ever work outside of the home again? Um, so to answer the kids question, honestly, I've always wanted a big family. Um, I kind of feel like the miscarriage has kind of changed my whole perspective on that. And I'm kind of just like, whatever God wants for us is what's going to happen. So honestly, I would love another one. If we could have even more after that, that would be nice. But whatever happens, happens. What will be your discipline style in the future? Will you and hubby buy your baby girl car at 16? When will you allow her to date? When do you plan on having the birds and the bees talk? Are you still on your weight loss journey? So yes, I'm still on my weight loss journey. My discipline style, I don't I don't know if there's like set styles, but um she will be disciplined if that answers the question. Um will we buy her a car at 16? It really just depends on a lot. Like are her grades good? Is she respectful? She better be respectful. Um does she abide by the rules that we have established for her um is she an ex i'm not gonna say extracurriculars because i don't want to make it seem like it's something that she has to do i would like to do that does she keep up with her chores you know a lot of things factor into that i don't know about car at 16 y'all that that i mean i guess it kind of just depends where we are <clears throat> excuse me i guess it just really depends where we are financially but i don't know i didn't have a car till i was 19 kendall didn't have a car till i think he was 18 or something so i don't know i don't want to say no and then 15 years or wait 14 years from now we're sitting here watching a video of me giving mason car keys so i don't know it's a possibility though um will we allow her to date yes i don't think anything's wrong with dating and honestly um, I want to be very open with Mason. I don't want to sugarcoat anything. I don't want to have her underneath a rock because I just feel like by the time she, you know, whenever she's older or she's going to college, that's where a lot of things happen. And I don't, I want to know. <laughs> I want to know everything that's going on. So I will allow her to date. I'm not, I mean, it will, I would like to know the guy that she's dating. A lot of things will go into it, but yeah. And will we give her the birds and the bees talk? Absolutely, because I will not have my daughter's friends teaching my daughter about everything. 
I feel like that's the biggest mistake that comes around with not giving your child the birds and beats talk. Next for you, what's new things that you're working on? I'm always working on something new. What's next for me? I guess we'll just have to wait and see, but yeah. What are some things you see other YouTubers do but you aren't willing to do to be famous? Honestly, I'm not gonna speak on anything particular, but I do see a lot of things that YouTubers do. I mean, I'm pretty sure you can see a lot of trends that go around YouTube. I've even asked, been asked to do certain trends and I don't do it because I don't really feel like it would be sincere coming from me. And then there's some things where I just really don't care about. Is YouTube your full-time career now? I wouldn't say that because I have a lot of different things going on, but I do kind of do YouTube full-time. I do upload to my uh, account more than once a week. So I guess you can pretty much say YouTube is part of my full-time career. <laughs> I don't know if I want to use the word career though. It's my it's part of my full-time job if that makes any sense. I feel like when people use the word career like a doctor, that's their career or a lawyer, that's their career. I won't say this is my career. I mean, I don't know. Maybe I sound dumb, but no. Why did you decide to start a YouTube channel? How did you start to gain sub/views in the beginning? I started a, I decided to start a YouTube channel because I came in contact with Morgan Taylor's YouTube channel. And and I saw that she was a college student just like me and I'm like oh wow I never knew YouTube could be anything more than just like how-to videos or music videos pretty I'm, I take that back I didn't know YouTube was more than music so once I discovered her channel and saw what she did I'm like I'm very interested in this I think I'm gonna start and I literally started that day get my subs and views up if you watch my how to gain 100 subscribers fast video everything i've said in that video is pretty much what i did to get my channel to where it is today what is your ideal place for you and your family to move honestly i don't know i would just like a nice neighborhood where we live right now is perfectly fine it's nice we know our neighbors everybody's sweet um nobody bothers us or anything like that so if we did eventually buy this house i wouldn't mind it either um, I know some people have said something about like the school system. Mason would I uh, Mason would go to school where her dad works. So we are not really concerned about the school system so much for the area that we lived in. But yeah, that is the end of my Q&A. If y'all ever have any questions, you know, you can leave them down below in the comments or DM me or email me, whatever the case may be. All right, y'all. See you on the next video.